Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. We're continuing our rotation proof decks. So that is uh, decks that you can play where all the cards will not be hit by the upcoming rotation in a couple months. So rotation is getting rid of Dominaria, both the Ixalan sets and M19. So all that will be left in standard for, uh, that's currently available is M20, War of the Spark, and both the Ravnica sets. Uh, what will be added to this is the Throne of Eldorain, or whatever the new set is, the Fairy Tale set. Um, so we don't know what cards are there, but what we're doing is building decks that people can craft cards with now and not have to worry about losing them in a couple months. So we've already done a black green or Golgari graveyard deck, and we've done a black white kind of life gain mid range control deck. Um, so up next is a gruel variant, so red green. Um, so we're really kind of going all in on the Riot theme. Um, so Hasty Threat's really good right now with like Teferi. If they bounce it, we can just attack it back. Um, as well as basically fight mechanic, big creatures hard to deal with. Um, so the deck itself to walk you through, uh, we have Shock as early removal and Burn. Um, Paradise Druid is our only ramp spell in the deck. We lose Llanowar Elf, which kind of hurts. And I don't really like the O3 Elemental um, because we want to always be attacking with this deck to some extent. So even as a late draw, Paradise Druid is still a 2-1 that can attack. Uh, we have Zertod Goblin, which is a 2-mana 2-2 with Riot, so it can either be a hasty 2-2 or a 3-3. Um, we have Domri's Ambush, which could put a counter on stuff and basically serve as removal that it can fight. Uh, Gruul Staple, Gruul Spellbreaker, Riot, Trample, so either a hasty 3-3 or a 4-4. That gives us uh, pseudo hexproof on our turn. Um, I'm trying out Vivian, Champion of the Wilds. So there's a lot of flash, so this lets us play on our opponent's turn. So I want to see how good she is. Also, she helps us dig for creatures. Um, there's d three mana Domri, uh, so it's ramp, so it takes us from three to five mana. Uh, th within the next turn, if we have a land, it gives us an anthem for our creatures and also serves as more fight. So this is basically our removal in the deck between the three. Uh, we also have Collision Colossus, so this uh, gets rid of Flyers, as well as is a good kind of pump spell. We have uh, Gruel Spellbreaker and uh, Collision Colossus. You know what, now that I think about this, uh, Nullhide Ferox isn't going to work in our list. Nullhide Ferox makes it so... We can't play non-creature spells. Our deck has a pretty high density of non-creature spells, so that's a no-go. So we'll add something else there. Um, this is the fun part of deck building. Uh, so I'm playing Shifting Ceratops main. Seems pretty good in the meta right now. There's a lot of blue stuff going around with all these flash decks. Also can't be countered. We have Skargan Hellkite, which is a flyer. Also can't... Uh, so it's hasty flyer, or it can be used as uh, to shoot stuff down. And then two Chandra Awaken Infernos. Um, just as a top end, another can't be countered threat. Um, we can go Growth Chamber Guardian. Um, just thinking what we want. Uh, I like the Riot threats. I like the Haste stuff. Because Growth Chamber Guardian gets bounced by Teferi and it's not much value. What do you do? Enters the battlefield with a 1 1 counter on it. So, and then it gets hexproof. Perhaps we try out a couple of these. Um, let me just switch that up. We can just go Sarkins and just play big. I would like another threat though, like in the lower portion. We can go uh, Incubation Druid actually. Helps us ramp up. I think we'll try that. Uh, just see if there's anything else we want to include. We could go... Let's go down a druid play. Uh, you may choose a creature card you own from outside the game. Reveal, put in your hand. Okay, so it's just another fight mechanic. Um, in a pinch, we can grab some stuff out of the sideboard. Maybe try out that. Just seeing if there's anything else we want to try out. Either that or we can go Voracious Hydra. 
Let's try out a voracious Hydra. This is the fun part. We, we learn. We see what's good, what's not. Um, and then the sideboard, we got Fry versus blue-white matchups. Lava Coils versus like, creature-based. Crawl Harpooner versus some Flyer decks. Brontodon versus Nexus. Rhythm I want to try out in, instead of Veil of Autumn. I want to see how that works because um, this makes all our creatures uncounterable and it gives them haste. And then three Nisos versus the control matchup. So let's try that out. We'll see how it goes. Um, one thing too, we don't have the Temple Scry lands, so I'm playing four Shock lands, two Gates, and then uh, the rest basics. So we'll see how that goes. Um, let me know in the comments as well if you're interested. I've been playing around with a Mirror Image Elementals list. So basically, play Mirror Image or yeah, Mirror Image. You make copies of creatures when they enter the battlefield. So you stack like Risen Reef triggers or um, Omnath triggers, so like you can one-shot your opponent with Omnath. It's kind of like RNG because it depends on what your coin flips play, but it's pretty fun. Um, so we'll play some ranked matches. I'm at Platinum rank. Uh, one thing as we get started, if you are considering buying any cards off TCG, I do have my affiliate link in the video description down below. Um, if you could follow that link, it just lets them know that uh, I sent you there. Um, it's a free way to support the channel. And if you could, if you could hit that subscribe button, uh, it's a great free way to support the channel again. And let's play some games. Can't play that hand. Okay, we'll keep this hand. We go first. I'm going to just put the, the dino away. No turn one elf make, it kind of makes me sad. Um, I think we just go counter here. If it's a green base deck, they might have big creatures. Um, here. Let's tack in. You generally just want to try to get bigger in this matchup. There's an option for us to play Pelt Collector. Okay, so we have the Hellkite. Here I'm going to see if they block. We can just fight the egg now. That gets rid of the phoenix blocker. And that makes our Hellkite a lot more effective flying in. So we can try a variation of Pelt Collector as well, see how it goes. Let me know in the comments as well. Um, I have blue-white of Flyers uh, slated to be the next deck. But if there's another deck that you're interested in, do let me know. Okay, so let's just go take to the skies. Um, I think we force their hand, let them block. That also gets it before they can have reach. Ah. Timely Domri from them, that allows them to fight our Hellkite. That sucks. I think we're dead here. Because that goes more power.
We can shock Domri. We can kill Domri, shock the elf. Try going that way. That takes it to five power, and then we have something to kill the elf. Any skirmish you can walk away from, right? I'll just end the turn. Pretty much dead here, but the trample is also relevant. So opponent's going to combat, they attack in, shock there, yeah, so they got us there. Um, in this matchup, lava coils. Nisos can be useful. I don't know if we want rhythm. Maybe try rhythms. Uh, we can go the shocks down. Probably go the collisions down. Voracious fights. Chandra can sweep and just deal with one creature at a time. And this matchup's probably gonna come down to whoever can go. Probably just get rid of the rhythms then. Get rid of Vivian. Run it back. We'll play first, we'll keep that hand, we'll lead on the mountain just to kind of fake that we have the shock still. Actually, shocks might be more relevant. It's a little weird because the thing is, like in this case, if we had shock it'd be good or against like an elf turn one, but the rest of their decks like three toughness or bigger. We drew land. Um, here I think we're just going to set up for a bigger. Get ahead on mana. Play Nisa, who then will ramp us. So we play Nisa, make two mana. If we draw another red source, we can also play Domri. can also play Domri, make a mana, play Nisa. That looks sweet. So... Play you. Oh, actually, that doesn't work. Ah, that's fine. I don't know why I was thinking we were getting the double mana. I was counting this double off uh, as though we had the niece already in play. They might use like a collision colossus here. Oh, that's fine. They still trade. Huh. 
So here we'll play out the guild gate. Um, we can go Ceratops, give it haste, and then fight. So that's actually not too bad because we are. Let's do that. They're priced into blocking. And then we can just fight with Domri. The egg on the back side. Otherwise they take 11. Phoenix is a good mirror breaker here. The flying and just multiple bodies. Also, Domri's really good in this matchup. So in this case here, Sierra Druids are still ample amount of power. So Domri can pump out Nisa, we can still attack with everything, so we have 914 damage coming in. Animate the mountain first. Actually 15 damage. Because this pumps up the elemental one more. They got their elf. So here... I've lived with animals my entire life. A lot, actually. Uh, play out Nisa. So, this forces them into blocking if they want to keep it alive, and we can six them. We got a lot of mana at this point, so losing the Paradise Druid isn't that big of a deal. I think going to three Domries probably is right. Gargan Hellkite can like kill the Domri, but then they take 11 on the crackback. That's fine. Go for the overkill win. Yeah. We would have made an elemental as well. Um, I think on the play, uh, or sorry, on the draw, this can probably want more interaction early play a voracious hydra in case we flood out it can fight run it like that both our decks really benefit from who has the earlier ramp they were able to get ahead on mana um yeah i'll keep this we got a removal on for the first threat, Spellbreaker, and then Domri can use Spellbreaker as a uh, fight spell. We answer their board. Uh, 
so we'll go guild gate on one. Gets that out of the way. Would have been nice if that was a temple. Wow, the fact they don't have anything there. Um, I think we just pass here, to be honest. I don't want to waste the lava coil on it. I'd rather get like a spell breaker with it. Uh, Druid came down a turn too late. I'm not going to take the trade here. Um, so this is interesting. I think we need to, from uh, just a general value play, get rid of the growth chamber guardian here. And just play defense. We're not winning the race right now, so we can hold back the Pelt Collector at least. Uh, so this is Jun Whirler, or Gruel Warrior Whirler, whatever you want to call. Yeah, we're pretty... Pretty bad spot. Just pass the turn. Yeah, and we don't have the lava coil, which hurts. Mm, just block like this. Something. Keeps us alive one more turn at least. Oh no, it doesn't. Never mind. We're dead. There's a weird mix of cards that, like, um, some fight, some just deal damage. So we'll run it through for another one. Without the phoenixes, I don't know if we want Pell Collector, but we shall see. There's also options, like Gruul is so flexible the way you can build it. Uh, we might be able to catch someone. I'm a simple man, I see dragons, I keep dragons. You can go heavier with planeswalkers in Gruul, you can go like our opponents, that's a little bit more aggro based. You can go growth chamber guardians. All right, hit us with that thought erasure. Yeah, kind of screws up our tempo, but gotta kill that. Um, I think we just start putting pressure in. It 
see if I could catch them. I'm fine with that trade. We now have 5-5 five, five flyers for the next two turns. So let's see, we can do Ceratops. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. Just in case they have a Dovin's veto. Just kind of thinking about it, but the mouse slipped, so we went with Ceratops plan. That's fine. So this one, I'm going to give it haste. The next one, I'll probably just put a counter on it. We are drawing into a lot of mana. Okay, so let's see. So if we have the five, we don't have enough. So you fight you. So that takes them down to five. They need an answer to both. They can tuck to fairy, but it won't do much. Let's not give them an option. They need Kaya's Wrath, and it's unusual for this deck to play Kaya's Wrath main when you're playing the heavier creature build. If this was the one that just had Basilica Bell Haunt, you usually don't see Kaya's Wrath. They've settled. Okay. Um. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. I've lost so much already. I'm going to lose. Doesn't matter, we just exile, we don't get the creature, but we can play our Hellkite with Flash. Opponents bought themselves a turn. Put a 1 1 counter on it. Uh, so here, they are dead. All right, so Esper, Fry's, Harpooner's probably good. Get rid of Druids. I want to be faster. Um, I don't know if I want Lava Coil. Well, they have the Bell Haunts. I'm going to switch Vivian to a third Domri. Domri's much better. Uh, we have Nisa that can thread in, but they have the Spark, so it's less good. Uh, same Collision Colossus we can get rid of. I might just go with the Rhythms. It just makes all our creatures like huge threats. This could clean up. Probably get rid of Voracious Hydra. Try it out like that. Nah, we try it out like that. It's the part where we learn stuff. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. We'll keep this hand. We're a ways away from Chandra. I'm going to do this to see if they opt to not play a hero on 2. 
Okay. They didn't fall for our bluff. No blocks here. Um. Try to go after Teferi. So they might opt to bounce Paradise Druid. It sets us back some mana. Ah, they got Hostage Taker. Yeah, we probably lost this one. Missing a line drop there hurts, and then not having an answer. Uh, we don't have lightning strike. They bounce that. Yeah. Well, that one was quick. Um... Well, now we saw the hostage takers. Uh, probably just go down... Chandra. Esper is a powerful de deck. If you don't have an answer to turn two hero, you usually die. Keep this. Just go Zerta. I'm gonna make it a 3 3 so we can attack into a hero. Mind you, they're not gonna block with the hero. Hope they drop a hero here. Sweet. Normally I would attack with the creature to see if they block first, but with hero you don't block. The value of hero is it remaining on the battlefield. Okay, well. Let's run it back. I'd really like to stop drawing lines at this point. Um, that's actually really good. That lets us play both out. And this is why I like the, the haste threats. So if that was Growth Chamber Guardian, we lose that tempo of having to sink the mana in. Okay, so they'll untap two. Give that haste. Kill Tef. So they have the Dispark, kind of sucks. That was really, ma really man efficient. Oath takes out Spellbreaker. Now they got five mana up. Fortunately here, I think we need to take out the fairy. Really 
just gonna hold the land here, make it seem like we have another spell. Uh, I got the guard mage. So they can bounce the Zerta. I'm surprised they didn't just bounce that. That seems like a better. Because this lets us reset this at 3 power. Oh, jeez. Too many lands. Because now we can attack into Zerta. Make an instant speed of wrath. Ah, that's annoying. Give me a dragon. All right, Domri is a play. Just past turn. The card advantage is kind of bearing us now. Don't worry. I got it. Uh, yeah, we lost this. It's unfortunate. Esper is still a tough deck, but demoing the deck, like I said, with Gruul, there's a lot of variants um, that we can go, so it's really about tailoring what's your most f uh, enjoyable feel. You can go more aggro with Pelt Collector, like we saw in game one. You can go uh, a little bit more controlling with like heavy Planeswalkers. So this is just my take. Um, feel free, to, if you have any comments, how you think you'd build it different. Um, really open to those suggestions. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great one.